Hello everyone. Welcome back to Civil Engineering Classes YouTube channel. So last videos we have been discussing about different ferrous metals. In this video we will see a small brief about the non-ferrous non metals and their alloys. We know non-ferrous metals are the metals that do not have iron contaminated or have a very insignificant amount of iron in it. The examples of the non-ferrous metals are aluminium, copper, cobalt, lead, magnesium, zinc, tin and nickel. We will see the most important ones that is uh, aluminium and copper in this video. First one is aluminium. The main ore of aluminium is bauxite which is the hydrated oxide of aluminium. Its specific gravity is 2.7. It is used for corrugated sheet, balusters, post, panels, etc. Next one is copper. Its major ores are cuprite, copper glands, copper pyrates, malite, etc. Its specific gravity is 8.9. We know the uses of copper are to use in as sheets, tubes, wires, cables and very importantly in the electronic industries. Next one, let's see about the different alloys of this non-ferrous metals. First one is brass, which is an alloy of copper and zinc. Next one is bronze, which is an alloy of copper and tin. Monal metals means these are the alloys of nickel with copper. Next one is nickel silver or German silver, which is an alloy of copper with nickel and zinc. Next one is the gun metal which is an alloy of copper with tin and zinc. So these are the different alloys of the non-ferrous metal. In the previous video we have also seen the different alloys of steel also like manganese steel which is used in railway crossings. Then nickel steel that can be used for high precision instruments and pendulum clocks etc. Then vanadium steel that is used for the making of springs. So, these are all about the major alloys. So, we have done with the chapter metals. Next, coming to the next building material that is glass. The major constituent of the glass is silica. Glass is a mixture of a number of metallic silicates. Glass can be classified into soda lime glass, potash lead glass, potash lime glass and common glass. Let's see them one by one. First one is soda lime glass. It is also called a soda glass. It is comparatively soft. So it is soft glass. It is a mixture of sodium and calcium silicate. It is majorly used for the manufacture of glass tube, lab apparatus, plate glass and window glass. Next one is potash lime glass. It is also called as bohemian glass and hard glass. It is a mixture of potassium and calcium silicate. It fuses at very high temperature. So it is majorly used for the making of the article that have to withstand very high temperature. For example, combustion tubes. Next one is potash lead glass. It is also called as flint glass. It is a mixture of potassium and lead glass. It fuses very easily. It is used for the manufacture of artificial gem, electric bulb, lens and prism. Next one is common glass. It is also called as bottle glass. It is a mixture of sodium silicate, calcium silicate, iron silicate. It fuses with very high difficulty. It is majorly used for the manufacture of the medicine bottles then these are the main type of glasses there are also certain special varieties of glasses if we have to alter the properties of the glass suitably we can add uh, a few more ingredient and make the changes the special varieties of glass have their own special uses in engineering Let's see them one by one. First one is bullet proof, bullet proof glass. They are made up of several layers of the plate glass. 
and the alternate layers consist of the vinyl resin plastic. That is the speciality of the bulletproof glass. Next one is fiberglass. These are composed of minute glass rods. They are soft and flexible in nature. Next is foam glass. They form a kind of rectangular blocks. They are fireproof and rigid and also a good heat insulators. Next is heat excluding glass. This allows the passage of light through it but not the passage of heat. So they are called as heat excluding glass. These are mainly used in windows of the higher class of coaches in the railways and in the window panels. Next one is perforated glass. They are used in the panels in the ventilators. Next is safety glass. Celluloid is placed between the glass layers so that if anyway if the glass breaks, the flying of the splinters can be avoided. That is called as safety glass. Next one is shielding glass. They contain heavy metals like lead oxide. These are used in windows which have radiation exposure. Next one is soluble glass. These types of glasses are soluble in water under normal condition. They are used for preparing acid resistant cement. Next one is ultraviolet rays glass. They are used in the windows of the schools, hospitals etc. Last one is the wired glass. They have a kind of steel wire mesh that is placed between the glass during the process of manufacture that is the rolling process. If the glass break, the glass is held by, sorry it is held, not held, it is held by the wire mesh. So the glass particles do not get detached from it. It is majorly used for the roofs and skylights. This was about glass. So here is the end of the video. So we have covered I think all of the major building materials.